All right, I am here back again in my friendly neighborhood, and as I edited last video, I made a small list of a couple things that I'd like to get done. So let's go do them. The first thing that I want to do is the glasses with googly eyes that we found in the first studio. And the bird that's walking around is squinting at everything. And then we saw a photo. All right, I tied him up. We're good. I'm pretty sure the photo's up here in this hallway. Hold on. If I am where I think I am. Honestly, the layout of this place is still a little bit blurry to me. But I have a feeling if we put those glasses with the googly eyes on the desk that she looks at with the mirror, she admires herself in that mirror. But I'm pretty sure if we put those on there, she'll put them on and maybe something will happen. Maybe that sock guy that... That big green goobery gob is somewhere up there. You can hear him. Okay, that's going to make this a little bit more difficult. But uh, maybe the sock was lying. He said that... Oh, there he is. He said that that bird was an angry, mean bird. And it doesn't seem to be. She actually seems to be pretty nice. Look it. This is the... That's her. <laughs> that was the... Wall. what made me think maybe we can give her the glasses because I'm pretty sure that's her. So I'm going to go over there, which is I'm pretty sure through these doors. And the other thing I need to do is unlock all the other square doors that I came across as I was here and I just didn't have the key on me. So I couldn't unlock them. But we'll do that after. Locked. Really? Of course it is. Uh, okay, I guess we'll do that first. Now. Again, I don't remember the layout of this place, so let me see here. What's over here? Stage? This is actually how we got in. And one of the square doors, I believe, is here, to the studio. I have the key, though! Square! Oh, diamond! Oh, gosh! Embarrassed! Floor. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, I don't have the triangle. This is a bad start. I'm off to a bad start. Let's just go. Ahead. If he's not in there anymore, and where were you, I mean, where we originally saw him, I'm pretty sure we already saw that room, but. Right. We have to go up the stairs. Okay. Oh, but that does reset his position. All right, easy. Did we even try these doors? No, I don't think we've been in here yet. Oh my. The punctuation? Press four to swap to the punctuation. It's a weapon? Is it a grenade? Uh-huh, it's a grenade. It feels like it can spring apart at any moment. Okay. I guess that explains what happened here. Punctuation. So this guy, Hank, I'm pretty sure he was the maintenance man of this place. Uh, these babies really pack a punch, but the release destroys the housing chamber, so I have to keep making new ones. Julia said I should call them the Interrobang, but I think just the punctuation sounds better. Hank. Addendum. I'm going to try making a machine that'll shape a new charge out of a regular ammo index, which will make production much easier. Cool. Yeah, that guy's been helping us out. Okay. The 
nothing. Oh, I can't even go down the aisles. Okay. This game is quiet. There's no background music. Only sometimes. Oh, hey. So we did pick up huh? another mask last time. Oh, that didn't do good, did it? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So I just wanted to check down here. Man, there's nothing. Uh, locked. Alright then. Some notes and a bomb that I used and blew up one person with. <laughs> it did seem to have some, like, ricocheting effect to it. The guys that ran up on the stage first were being blasted with parts of it. Now, that green guy is completely gone from this area. Yeah. Okay, we gotta find our way out of here. Okay, uh, we have a, a, a R for R, R, R. Oh, great. R, R, R. Well, He's awake uh, now. Got a key for, for right, I don't Fox. remember going oh, down oh, the oh, stairs. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay, moving on. We have a TE for German, Germ, Germ, Germany. We are all. That actually startled me. <laughs> oh, let's hope this one's open. All right. Lunch is my favorite oh. meal of the day. I always eat the food that most represents how I'm feeling at lunch. Oh, wow. What sort of things do I eat? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> when I'm feeling happy, I eat watermelon. When I'm sad, I'll read that. I'll read that, I'll, I'll read that when these guys shut up. I'm gonna... I eat the roadkill well, outside. <laughs> when I I'm angry, I feast upon the tears of my enemies. When I'm smart, when I eat sad, everyone else's food. And when, when I'm, I'm in a hurry, yeah. I eat the roadkill outside. Uh, when I'm well, uh, angry, maybe I shouldn't I uh, talk about that one. Tears of my <laughs> oh, how much space am I playing with? <laughs> and when I'm in a hurry, I... Three squares. Well, maybe I shouldn't talk about that one. <laughs> well, well, well. It's time for... Uh, what does Norman notice? Well, let's see here. What does Norman notice? Uh, uh, Norman notices. No, I can't even get. Leonard. Uh, uh, I can't believe oh you noticed. Oh gosh, I really just don't know where to go. To I noticed all sorts right. of things. Here, let's play again. really good actually <laughs> nice actually uh might as well all right still I'm so embarrassed about last time I can't oh was this here before? I don't think it was. Alright. Well, 
that opened the box. And last time I kept trying to shoot those down and shoot those down, thinking I didn't open anything. I was too stupid to look at the fucking floor. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, let's put down that little pawn that we just got. Looks like fun. Maybe I'll give it a shot. He's got the diamond key. Okay. Let's see here. All right, let's play a game. One, press the bell to start. Two, when it's your turn, either draw a card or play a card to move that many spaces. Three, first to the end wins. Special spaces. If you land on Norman, draw a card. Junebug is wild. If you start your turn on Junebug, immediately play the top card of the deck. Poor Leonard is slow. If you're on Leonard, you can only play one. Uh-oh. If you land on Goblet, you lose. Okay. So we bring the bell to start. Okay. I guess it's me that gets to go first. So Junebug is wild. Do we want to start with a one? Let's start with just a one. <laughs> okay. That's how he moves. Let's start with a three here now. I kind of want to draw another card. I want to go three here. What happens if I run out of cards? Well, I don't have a top card, so do I just do this? I won! Oh, oh fuck! Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Okay, well, maybe I should start strong and just go right for Junebug as a starting card. Let's try that again. I feel like that's a much better hand. Let's go right for three. Hey, you can't do that! <laughs> Guess I gotta follow the rules. I thought, I thought that was the time. Okay, so do I have to play it from that deck? All right, all right, all right. I'm sorry. Oh, that's a considerably worse hand. Why is he? Why does he have his head on the table? Gonna be a one again? again. Well, there's no way I can lose, right? Nice. Okay. What was that? Third time's a charm? Fourth time's a charm? I don't know. <laughs> that was kind of fun, though. Um, now that I have this key, I can unlock a lot. Like a lot. Oh, this is upstairs for the theater room that we're just in. Right, and I didn't read the page that I got from the previous thing. Friday, November 16th, 1979. Puppets Space Quest out of touch with reality. This Richard Lightsbury guy has been the guy. He's reviewed every single one of their movies and plays or whatever they have. He's been there for it. Although he only gave this one two out of five stars. 
There's nothing particularly wrong with the puppet Space Quest, the latest addition to the My Friendly Neighborhood media franchise. Once again, we join the puppets as they embark on another grand adventure, this time on a journey to find the planet Oblong. And once again, they are joined by a hapless B-tier celebrity to provide some dramatic core to the neighbor's antics. It's all well constructed and even amusing. The problem is that it's just what we've come to expect from Gerswald's felt friends. What stands out most about the film is the sheer bareness of the translunar landscape, and I don't mean visually. Here there are no dazzling treasures, celebrity dreams, or gut-wrenching crime sprees to hold the audience's attention. All that space has is MFN's tired, childish moral vision. Even when they travel to the other side of the universe, the puppets can only offer the same moth-eaten yarn. There you go. Now hold on, I also got... Alright, this script is for episode 346. This is the one we picked up in that studio room. Um, the audience cheers, exciting music plays, lights flash around the stage. Ricky wearing a bow tie. It's the eating game. Here's our star, Goblet. Goblet enters and takes her place at the podium. It's a girl? On stage, a number of succulent dishes lie atop numbered podiums. Goblet, today's game is which dish? I'll ask a question, and you need to eat the dish that answers it. Ready? Goblet begins to reach toward one of the meals. No, Goblet, you need to wait until I ask a question. Ready? Okay. Which one of these meals contains cauliflower? Goblet snatches the meal closest to her and downs it in one gulp. A buzzer sounds. Oh no, that was not correct. Okay, how about, without waiting for another question, Goblet begins downing meal after meal. Plates go flying. The audience is cheering. No, 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 Goblet. Oh, Goblet. <laughs> Yo, Goblet. Wait, shotgun shells? Hey, yo. Oh. Yeah, they need to put, like, music in this or something, eh? Is there not... Hold on. Audio. Music's at 100%. If they just had a little bit of, like, background sound or something faint playing on the speakers... What? Oh. I can put film in these? Okay. I guess we'll be watching a movie at some point. Or... There we go. Five minutes later. They were playing this at the children's movie studio? <laughs> He's smoking a cigarette? They're both drinking? If there's a point to watching this there's, there's no sound there isn't even sound for the movie all right I guess we'll be looking for some reels another mask. Ooh. 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 Okay, well, we know where... Th oh, Jesus! <laughs> we know where that is. I need to go put some things in the box. What I also, I, do when you get upset? I guess I can just use some of these. Huh? Let me tell you about the time that my friend June Bugs got me all upset at her. I first, I, uh, well, I 
can pick up the mask at least. And then I guess we can go put these masks in the chest. Okay, well I don't hear goblet down here, but I do hear puppets down here. Usually when we see puppets appear where they haven't been before, <laughs> that's the way that I might need to go next, so... Survival mode is really not that hard. It's basically just normal mode. Alright, so what are we doing here? Goblet. This is that eating game. Oh. Really? That's it? Just a chocolate bar, huh? Okay. expecting something to happen when I stand on those. Is there like film that I can grab? No. So I'll just unlock this door from here though. And we can go in this booth now. And there's another mask. Okay. I still don't know where any of them go. I don't know what that is. Oh. Okay. Right. So there's a door over here. Just feeding me ammo. These are the hydraulics for the elevator. But where's the fluid tank? Okay, I need a fluid tank. That elevator doesn't look like it goes very high. Well, I said these are just the hydraulics though, right? Okay, so we're looking for a fluid thing. We're looking for so many things. <laughs> All right. All right, there is a diamond door right there. This is the part that is Is she still tied up? Oh, cool. I do like that you can leave entire areas and they are like, they're stuck for good. Where is this? The laundry matters in the bathroom?
Great. Okay. Well, I guess I should have dropped some stuff off. He's going to come back to life the next time we're here. Okay. Well, I know where the movie reel is. Okay. Oh. All right. Well, is there a drop button? Can I just drop things. It's just discard. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I thought for sure he was gonna get back up. He didn't. Okay. Sure. Okay, both items collected. <laughs> All right, let me see here on the map. Everything down here is pretty good. Sewers. Alright, we can go back up. There's nowhere else to go down here yet. So I don't know if... So I can't discard this item. Because it's crucial to the game. And I'm assuming that means I can get rid of this item with the check mark on it. I'm gonna do it. I hope I don't regret that later. But it's going to clear up a lot of space there. I've got quite a bit in my stash. Now, it looks like these two items are also done with. So I'm going to discard the keys. And again, I hope I really don't regret that. <laughs> but there we go. That frees up a ton of space in the inventory. Let's go see what there is to see. I got some questions that I need answers. How does the meal get served correctly? Are there more rats than sponges in the world? Are using rats as sponges? Oh, what's the maximum amount of water a rat? The one when he's on here is broken. He's broken. How many rat sponges will I keep next to my seat? The little mini basketball thing that's on that guy's desk. That's sick. What? <laughs> What is it that I'm missing? something in this room, right? Yeah. What? Okay, let's go put the reel in this one, I guess. Set up number three. She's literally just in the room right over there. Is she depressed? <laughs> Getting flashbacks. PTSD. 
see. Okay. Well, I guess we gotta go see what's wrong with her. Maybe we'll have to give her food or something? Okay, let's go see what's wrong with her. Let's play in the other movie again. Salt and pepper shakers as fingers tips. <laughs> Life can get you down sometimes, huh? First time I ever saw a movie as a kid, there was this scene of a man riding into this big blazing sunset, and I remember when it came up, it just caught me. I don't know if it was the plot or the music or what, but my heart just suddenly leapt like. Like I had just heard an old friend calling my name. And I sort of forgot myself and turned around, thinking someone was behind me. But all I saw was a little star of light coming from the projection booth. No one else turned around. They all were just focused on the screen. But it felt so real. So solid. <laughs> Never knew what to make of that. Eventually, I forgot about it. I guess during the war, I got distracted. But it just came back to me now. All right, then. I... Okay, there's an achievement for that called Star of Light. Gordon helped Goblet? I mean, I did just throw a grenade at you. <laughs> but is there... what? There's nothing else to do that didn't give me anything? What? <laughs> is this door unlocked yet? Okay. <laughs> that didn't really help me. Not at all. There's still something missing in that office. I still don't know what to do with the chest in the shooting range. I still have things to do in the projection room. I don't even know how to get up there. I... There's still something there and... You didn't make it to ten, buddy. Here, let me show you how I learned. Hold your hands up in the air. Alright, what am I missing in this room? This is what I'm missing. Yeah, alright. There's something here. Take one of your hands, put it in your mouth, and swallow as hard as you can. Now you have one hand inside of your stomach and one hand outside. This is the best part. Take your other hand, put it next to the hand in your mouth, and swallow again. <laughs> now you have two hands in your stomach. Really? That's how numbers ah. work. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> Don't Doesn't help me at all. Your hands back up. It was this box. It was this box. It was that box. Okay, well then that means whatever I'm missing is got to be in this safe. But I don't know how to open it. What's the... Did I find the code? Okay. Now I don't even. I didn't get any dice yet. Huh. She just 
still down there. What? I don't know how much I like it when things pop up where they weren't before. I guess you could assume that I would think to come back up here for some reason. Because he looked back at the thing and said there was just a starry light. He did mention the projector booth during that sequence, but... I mean... Uh, <laughs> give me a little bit more of a hint than that. Uh, how to use your... Yeah, alright. No, I already know how to do this. So let's put this in number two. Okay. That's the uh, letter machine that we used. Doesn't look like she's got glasses there on this show, though. Do we have to go talk to Goblet again? We must have to go talk to Goblet again. Nothing's happening. Woo! There's a lot of back and forth in this part. Wait. Nothing's happening. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> Is there like a... There's no objectives. That's the thing. There's no objective list. Oh, crap. I wanted to use this boat to get across, but this guy took it. <laughs> Son of a gun. Okay. Where am I trying to go? I just, I just don't know. I have no clue. You look at me. I always eat the food that most so that piece that I have is the pump, right? The pump sounds like it would be down here. Oh, crud muffins. I'm a I must be going the right way. I must be. get back to the room I'm trying to get to? But how do I get there? I wonder if I'll have to go through the triangle doors. No way through the boat. No way through there. And that's the only other way into that area. Whatever I'm missing is in the office building. Gosh darn it. Really? <sighs> Okay, hold on. We go through the offices into the... Mazane? Look, this door's unlocked up there. In the statue room? Wasn't that locked before? I don't know. I thought that was locked. Why is that just unlocked? Why do they expect you to just know? Am I supposed to... Did I just not pick up on the clue? I'm not the brightest tool in the shed, but I don't think I'm that thick, am I? Last episode, I was just making a lot of mistakes because I was tired, I swear. Okay, hold on. It says this door is unlocked. Because I have the diamond key. Wow! It is my fault. <laughs> uh. Our friends feel a lot of feelings. Junebug had a good day. Norman had a bad day. Liliana found a big mouse. George got cut off in traffic. Hmm, again, these statues, and it looks like there could be something placed on them. Same with the hotel. This 
one it is. I wonder if we'll get the triangle key finally in here. There isn't even any nighttime traffic. The lights are changing. That's a cool little touch. Well, there might not be traffic, but there's traffic lights and they work, so that's all right. Oh. What? What am I missing? What is this? <laughs> Everywhere I go, everything's locked. Hold on. Masks. They have feelings. It was a... Oh! Okay, hold on. My brain is working. Okay. So those masks will also hopefully help us in the hotel then, right? Unless they stay here and we gotta get new masks, maybe? Alright, so Junebug had a good day. Norman had a bad day. Liliata found a big mouse. George got cut off in traffic. So you had a bad day. Um, you are the sad face. You had a good day. So you're the happy face. George, you're angry because you got cut off in traffic. And you must be surprised since you found the big mouse. Nice! It's all coming together! I gotta pick up all these one by one? Jesus, okay. No, oh, but they all go into the one pile. That's pretty good. Okay. So it goes three, six, one, five, two, three. Three, six, one, five, two, three. Three, six, one, five, oops, two, three. Four, six, five. What? Oh, they've got to be reversed on this side. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh yeah, whoa, okay, this is gonna be a little bit for me, hold on. Okay, that's three now. That's six. And that's now five, oh. I could just, like, literally, I have a bag with dice in it, I could probably just flip the dice around and look, but I'm just too lazy to go even get the bag. What number am I looking at? A three? Needs to be four, six, five. It makes a noise. Okay. <laughs> wow. All right. Now that is the piece of the uh, cylinder for the elevator fuel thing all right I mean that they should fix that elevator what about the other piece wait what well then what's this for for this let's go to that elevator then all right this should be working <laughs> this will take us what to floor four the ceo office is that what this is the waiting room to the ceo office all right 
Wait, did that say this is... No, it's red. All right. What do we miss? There it is. There you are. Oh, God. I got stuck in it. Whoa. We've got little mini figures. Good? No, we're not good. Are we good? We're good. We can go through that door. We can go through this door. Is this a staircase? Is that what this is? Cool. All right. That loops right around to there. Well, in that case, this door. The CEO. Wow. Isn't not here. I'd love to have a view like this. Of the interior of a building? <laughs> Most people like a window to the outside, but all right. Ah, uh, Gerswold. The front door key. Maybe this will unlock the front door. You don't say. You can see it down there. <laughs> I'm getting the inspect button for it over here. I was trying to get to these drawers, but all right. There is... A secret hatch? Right, that makes sense. There's secrets in this game. Ah, I keep getting there's cheat codes and everything. Don't give me lockers with nothing. Ah! Oh. <laughs> There's still. A Wait, what? Why is there a street lamp just right there in the middle of the straightaway in the street with no turns? <laughs> I, there's not even a crosswalk there. <laughs> Come on. If you're gonna put that stuff in there, at least design it to make sense. It's a nice touch, but what? <laughs> the immersion breaking. Not that I can really be fully immersed in a cartoon world full of sentient killer puppets, but... <clears throat> what was that show on, like, really late night men's TV or comedy network or whatever? It was on the men's channel, too. But uh, it was like Puppet to Kill or whatever. I used to watch the shit out of that show. That was a good show. Nope. Nope. Front door time. I'm excited to leave this building because we have a lot to do in all the other areas. And I really want to go see if I can't put these googly eyed glasses on that. Oh! I don't even know what that was. It just scared the piss out of me, though. <laughs> Who broke what? What is that? What is happening? He's shooting Normans at me. Eat that, you big whatever you are. Okay, this is a boss battle. It's gotta be, right? <laughs> Ow! Okay, not doing so well. <laughs> oh, now you're taking all the back. <laughs> what? What is this? Oh, shit. Really getting 
stuck. Okay, I am taking out the eyes. All right, that's what I thought I had to do. Something. Yeah, I don't know right. what Get that was. Curtains? It was a bullet sponge. Alright. Overall, the game's not too challenging. It's just sometimes, like, I overlook things. And then I get frustrated, but this is pretty easy. As far as boss battles go, I don't think I usually finish a boss battle okay, in the first round. Okay, what's next? There's a lot to do next, but I'll tell you what's happening right now. The end of the episode. <laughs> Thank you for being here. I uh, got to gather my plan together. And next time that we're here, we'll probably go unlock all the rest of the diamond doors. There's the diamond box to our right that powers the gate. I can't talk anymore, so I'm just going to stop. All right. See you later. <laughs>